advanced movement has become essential in this current era of Call of Duty. So today I'm showing you three fundamental movement mechanics and how to master them in order to improve your overall gameplay. You know what to do, so let's hop right into it. The primary reason movement should be a key part of your gameplay is because it can give you the upper hand in a gunfight by breaking your opponent's camera. Now that sounds weird, but if you've been a subscriber for a while, you've heard me use this term frequently. Think of your point of view as your game camera, and anytime someone enters your point of view, the game needs to process that information and relay it to your screen. That being said, the manner in which you enter someone's point of view can affect how fast the information is relayed to them, which is why sometimes if you're holding a line of sight and someone jumps or slides into view, they'll beam you faster than you have time to react, and that's because they camered you or broke your game camera. Therefore, the more complex movement, the harder time your opponent will have to react in a gunfight. Movement can also help you in a number of different ways, from getting around the map quicker and multitasking, to helping you get out of mixy situations and being more elusive. So let's start with the first fundamental movement, which is, say it with me, the slide cancel. You likely already already know how to slide cancel, but don't go just yet because I'm going to go over some different ways that you may not have thought of to use a slide cancel. However, if you did not know how to slide cancel in Vanguard, while you're moving forward you're going to hit the slide button once, and at the desired distance, press it again to cancel the slide, then you're going to immediately press your jump button to bring you back up to that standing position, at which time you can either continue sprinting or take a gunfight. The slide cancel can be utilized to both camera your opponents as well as move around the map quicker. You want to use your slide cancel when you're challenging or checking lines of sight that you anticipate to be guarded by an enemy, and that's because it both offers a camera breaking movement just in case, but it also reduces your sprint to fire time. Now the way that it helps you get around the map quicker is because if you slide cancel twice, it will automatically recharge your tactical sprint, although the second sprint will be slightly shorter than the first. So if you're looking to travel a long distance across the map for instance, the slide cancel can help you slightly extend the time you can sprint during that duration. That being said, in Vanguard, slide canceling twice in quick succession will result in an unfortunate penalty which will force your character to go prone. You can avoid the penalty by feeling out the spacing between each slide cancel. Now, as promised, here are a few different ways you can use the slide cancel. The first is by slide canceling into a line of sight, then immediately strafing the other direction when you engage with the enemy. The enemy player will naturally try to track you with their aim in the same direction that you slid in, and by strafing the other way, you're forcing them to adjust their aim all the while they're missing their initial bullets, by which time you should be able to eliminate them. The next use of the slide cancel is by using it to burst through doors and walls rather than just running through them. To do this, you're going to simply slide just as you approach the door, then as soon as you're through, complete the movement. This does require some timing as sometimes you could just be stopped dead in your tracks, so ensure that you aren't cancelling the slide before you get through the wall or door. Rather, you want to cancel the slide just after you burst through the door. This forces your opponent to have to contend with getting camered and being distracted by whatever you just ran through. Now, there are ways to combine other movements with the slide cancel, but the last of these methods exclusive to the slide cancel is to simply side cancel even when you're running straight at an enemy. Sometimes they can mess with their aim assist while allowing you to transition from sprinting to shooting. This is of course most effective when your centering is on point because you might be able to hip fire in that time as well. Moving on to the next essential movement, the jump shot, jump slide, or slide jump. Any combination of these movements can be extremely effective due to the sudden shifts in your player's elevation, and it forces them to adjust their aim during the gunfight. And for anyone who struggles with tracking, it's gonna throw them off. Just keep in mind that while you're doing so, you also need to adjust your aim. But the benefit that you have is that you know where you're going next and you can account for it. The jump slide can also help you get around the map quicker by jumping from ledges or downstairs and holding your slide button when you hit the ground which will give you a helpful little boost. The key to this though is to slide cancel as you reach the end of your slide so that you can easily transition back into sprinting and maintain your momentum. If you don't slide cancel at the end, you're just going to end up crouch walking. You can use this mechanic to even challenge opponents, and you don't always need a slope or stairs. You can just jump into a slide cancel on even ground which essentially makes the slide cancel a bit more snappy. Finally, the last fundamental movement is the bunny hop. The bunny hop, although extremely effective, does require some practice and perfect timing, but it forces your opponent to have to not only track you vertically but also horizontally. In order to execute the bunny hop, you'll want to sprint toward the desired direction and jump into the line of sight while simultaneously turning toward the anticipated enemy, and just as you land you're going to tap your jump button again, which will result in a second hop that is slightly faster in the direction of your established momentum. This is great to use to camera your opponents, check lines of sight, and of course make you a more difficult target to hit. Check out this video if you want some movement tips to throw off your opponent's aim, but that does it for today's video. I'll see you tomorrow on day 18 of 30 of posting every day. You know what to do, my name is Drew, this was Sable Hound, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I want to be famous.